Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys the inner workings of my 3D printed Family Handyman Panama Gear Driven Ceiling Fan Replica. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, as you can probably tell, I took the ring off to show it. It's this gold spray painted thing I used a old shirt to use as the cloth. Here's the blade that I'm using. Looks exactly like the original one, although I need to paint the blade brackets. Got one printed, three more to go. Okay, without further ado, let's look at the inner workings. First is the chain housing. That just opens up like that after unscrewing that one screw. Got that pull chain from a hardware store. Works nicely. It's got three speeds. Um, got the motor from a Mainstays box fan from 2015. Uh, the gear uh, bearing is from the same hardware store where I got this pull chain. This might actually be the first 3D printed full scale ceiling fan. <laughs> nice. Uh, also, if you've seen the original one opened, you probably noticed, like, the original one that was not 3D printed by me, like, the original magazine one, it does not have this housing around it. I added this in so that way the grease can last longer, because before I put that in, the grease went flying all over the outsides. There's still residue of it on there. So I 3D printed this to put it on there and keep the grease from flying away. It also made it slightly quieter. And, uh, there's the grease. Kind of looks like cherry pie filling, but that's grease, believe it or not. Uh, yeah. Let's see the... There's like, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I glued some weights from fidget spinners like those little black circle things they're metal used it to balance out the weight because I couldn't find a concrete block to put there the original one had like a concrete kind of block there uh yeah, I used as a main stage box fan motor mini one 9 inch fan motor uh there's the little cooling fan. It's kind of harder to see because there's this housing in the way. If I do a little top shot there. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Okay, without further ado, let's show this running. There's high, medium, low, and off. It's kind of a noisy fan, but I actually tested this off camera with two blades, and it actually ran quite smoothly. I had to kind of alter the design of the blade brackets because apparently, after a few uses, the blade brackets snapped off, and I had to print a new one. So... Yeah, maybe I'll try to redesign a little bit more, so I don't print too many of the wrong copy. Because I really want this to be a success. That's a very neat little ceiling fan. And uh, let's see, it's the hook I'm hanging on. Wire goes down. It also uses a fused plug, which is for safety. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video on the inside of this gear-driven ceiling fan. Have a nice day, and don't forget to like, subscribe, peace out.